Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, me and Drake... Yo guys. ...are gonna be doing a Mega Man 8 podcast. The, like, mid one. Yup, not the worst one, the mid one. Yeah. And what a way to kick it off with my dogs. Yup. There we uh... go, Start off with the story? Uh, yeah, I, I actually forget the story in the. Oh, no, I remember it kind of, but you can do it. Um, I don't know how long it is after Mega Man 7, but I'll just say a few months because it's still in the year 20X, uh, 20XX. Um, a few months after Mega Man 7, um, there is Mega Man, uh, Here's that, uh, what's his name? Base is tearing up the town. He's absolutely he's right wa wailing on it. Yep. So, he goes to go stop Bass in this shitty cutscene. And then, um. I mean, the animation's not shitty, but the voice acting is. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. And so, after he quote-unquote, defeats base. He goes to a skull island, I think. Because he thinks Wily is going to be there. So he goes to the skull island where he excavates and looks around. Make sure Wily's not there. After you explore it, Wily is there. And he's stealing a bunch of crystals, I think, to power his Wily capsule to take over the world or some shit like that and so i think that's how the story goes i'm not very fond of this game so i'm not always head on on exactly trying to get this story right mm. but i think that's it and then while Mega Man books he finds this robot named duo which is a star droid just like the robot masters from Mega Man world 5 of course, I had to add in that last part. Like, and also, just... uh, okay. while, yeah. like, as soon as you boot up the game, it starts with a cutscene where Duo's beating up the unnamed purple guy. The man behind the slaughter? Yeah, but why did we need that guy? He doesn't uh, even have uh, a name. Yeah. He kind of just exists to move the story forward. I guess. His design is cool, but, like, he's useless. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and you collect his balls throughout the game, so... Um... Yeah. You guys find his balls. Collect balls, Mega Man. Mega Man, you gotta find Dr. Wowie's balls. We need to power the, uh, uh, robots with the balls. Mega Man, what does the P stand for? I think it does stand. Let me search up. What? What does the the P stand for? In or in Mega Man? What does the P stand for? And P chips. And P dash chips. In Mega Man. There we go. Uh. P stands for player. Player chips? Player chips, apparently. What does the P and P chip stand for? Let me see. It says. Private? Private chip? Oh wait, that's something NASA uses in Mega Man. It stands for player or power. All so right. they don't even know. No, it stands for either or. Uh. Displays the player's life energy instead of weapon energy. Mm. That makes sense, actually. Yeah. 
Power like, guy should have done his research. That's for sucking so much. Power guy should have done his research. Yeah. Okay. Next up, um. So we're gonna start off with the robot masters first. Yeah, which in this game, overall, I don't really like him except for one guy. Actually, not <laughs> two. I like Clown Man. Eh. I don't like his design. I like. I like his voice actor, and I also like his pattern. It's readable. I don't think you know who this is, but he kind of reminds me of this one character from, like, this YouTube show, uh, Fizzarali from Hell of a Boss. I've heard of it before, but... Yeah, he's basically just, like, a clown from Hell who has, like, robotic limbs that lets him stretch around. Basically just Clown Man by Demon. Okay, so we started at Clown Man, right? Uh, no, I started at, a uh, Tengu Man. Tengu Man. I'm going Clown Man, he's the easiest to remember. Eh. After, I think Tengu Man's the easiest, but that's because I did his boss first and know his pattern the best. Yeah, the Clown Man's the easiest one to know. Fair, so we'll go from Clown Man. Okay, so we go from Clown Man to who? Who's weak to Thunderclaw? Oh, I went from Clown Man to Frost Man. Okay, and fun fact, Frost Man is my favorite Marvel Master from this game. Hmm, yep. I love his, like, I love his uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, voice in the English. The only thing I hate about him is how freaking fat this guy is. Yeah, he takes up, like, half the screen, bro. Yeah. You need to lay off those wheat cakes, my guy. Yeah. So, there's that. Uh, and, and then, what else is there? Uh, then we go, I went from, well, we're going this route, so I guess we'll go to, uh... Tangu Man? Yeah, sure, we'll go to Tengu, Tengu Man next, which, isn't this guy based off, like, some Japanese, like, thing? Yeah, a warrior, I think. Uh. I think he's based off of a Japanese warrior, I could be wrong. Anyway, he looks more like a snowman than the actual frost robot master in this game. Yeah. With that long-ass nose, like, boy, what that do, bud? Jesus, well, Josh. you need that for Frosty the Snowman looking. Yep. Yeah, Alright, and then we go from him to Dine, the Dynamite guy, the Grenade Man. Yeah. Yeah, Grenade Man. Um, I like his design, honestly. It looks pretty cool. Yep. Though, uh, he's very annoying. His voice clips are. Uh, grenade? Grenade Man, yeah. His, he sounds so annoying. Like, no hate uh, to the voice actor, but... Yeah, he's really annoying. Yeah. Uh, and also, I found his boss fight to be the most tricky to learn the pattern, aside from the, uh... Uh... Commando guy. Commando Man, yeah. Yeah, him. So, yeah, anyway, now we move on to the second set of Robot Masters. Which, honestly, I really don't like this tactic. Like, yeah. especially in this game. Yeah. The way they just bring them in, I don't really like it. I like the concept of it, though. Like, for, like, a spin-off game, it would be cool. Yeah. Like, something like the World Series, that would be cool for that, but for a mainline Mega Man game, eh. Another reason I think that uh, in the World Series, I think they only limited it to four, was because... One, hardware limitations, and two, it would look kind of weird, wouldn't yeah. it? Like, it would be really hard to tell from which from, or where from where, or which from which, what Robot Master is who on the stage select. Yeah, because it would be so far, like, distance to fill on the screen that it would be impossible to tell. Yeah. And also, they won't be able to fit the name text on there, which I don't think they were able to anyway. 
yeah, you have to select the stage before it's like, oh, this is Shadow Man, you dumbass. Yeah, you man, how did you not know that? Yeah. And like, one did of you those buy our other I... game? Did you buy our, our other game, you little shit? Yeah, well, man. You I'll, I'll, then you don't know who's weak to who, you shit. Oh my god, you don't know that he's weak to that even though they're from different games? <laughs> oh my god, you stupid. Uh, anyway, we're on to the second set now. Now, on the second set, I started with Astro Man. Yeah, that's fair. That wasn't really a good decision, because his level is quite literally a maze. I started off with Magic Man. No, I'm kidding. He's, he's not in this game! I know, he's in Mega Man and Blaze! He's in that's Mega Man and the... It. He's in Mega Man in the edgy teenager game. <laughs> the edgy teenager game. He's in the blue terrorist and edgy teenager game. Blue terrorist. They call him a blue bomb. the one saving the damn day. I got that. Ju I got that from. They call him a blue bomber. <laughs> you can't tell me that doesn't sound like a terrorist name. No. It does. Blue Bomber. Blue Bomber. What's he bombing, huh? He shoots lemons. Yeah, but again, a hardware limitation. Yeah. They couldn't make freaking bullets. And also, gotta keep it kid-friendly. Mega Man's not gonna be shooting freaking bullets from his damn arm. He's not an actual god. If this is a kid-friendly series, then why does Vile do terrorism? Okay. One other thing. Is that, you, you're not going to see my screen, but if this is a kid-friendly series, right? Yeah, which it is, kind of. Yeah, it is. Then why the fuck does this exist? Oh yeah, he has the gun on the American covers. Gunman! Gun because I have the cartridge of Mega Man 1. Gunman! Bro, That's yeah, like, on the first two uh, American Mega Man box arts, they just have freaking <laughs> guns. <laughs> on- No, no, that ain't Mega Man. That's the blue bomber there. It looks like shit! Bro, bro. Yeah? That ain't Mega Man on the box art. That's the blue bomber right there. Jesus. Anyway, off topic. Okay, so yeah, we go from Astro Man to... I went to Aquaman after this. Yeah. And not the superhero, you poopy butts. I like him, he looks cool. Eh, yeah, I, his name is legit just a DC superhero, though. Shut up! It is! <laughs> They plagiarized Aquaman, even though nobody cares about Aquaman. Well, I mean, when was Aquaman made? I... When was Mega Man 8 made? 1996. 1996. Well, I mean, pretty much 1997, because it was, like, December 17th, I think. Is that on the dot? Mega Man 8... Release... Release... How do you spell Aqua? December 17th! Holy shit! Bro, how do you spell Aqua? I'm dumb. A-Q. Yeah. U-A. Dank. Uh, Aquaman was made in 1941. DC's Aqua Man made 2018. Oh, that's the film. Okay. <gasps> 1941. Holy shit! This 
guy's been rocking it. No shit, DC Comics goes way back. No, it does not. Eh, kind of. It does not go all the way to 1941. Oh, uh, I think it was other, like, smaller companies who made it and then they took the character because of... I don't know. Uh, comic number one. Probably, like, worth a million dollars. Yeah. Everyone's first issue, like, every main, like, every big superhero's first comic is, like, over a thousand, bro. I can't find it. Shit. Does this just not exist? Oh my god. This is worth two dollars. Do not even let me. Whatever. That's off topic. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we go from Aquaman to the Flame Guy. Yeah. Torch Man. It's not Torch Man. Damn it. It's the guy Damn with it. the sword. The anime protagonist, oh, bro. Sword Man. Honestly, I like Swordman's design. He looks kind of Why cool. Why is his name so simplistic? Because he has big sword. He is legit Cloud from Final Fantasy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he is that guy. Damn. I'm not sure if you'll know this one, but he's Berserk from that anime. I've, I've heard of Berserk before because I have a brother that just won't shut up about Final Fantasy. Yeah, he just has a big ass sir, sword. That's all you need to know. Sounds like Sephiroth. Anyways, off topic. It's Sephiroth, but the sword was thick. With two C's. Thick like hard man. <laughs> nah, bro. Anyway, now we're on to uh, the guy with the gun. What? The guy with the gun. Um. The gun. The gan. Who's the guy with the gan? The guy who tries to snipe you. <laughs> Oh, Search Man! Yeah, the guy who tries to hit the 360 no scope. <laughs> yeah, I, this is my second favorite robot master from this game. I I think he's or there is it a he or a they? Excuse me, my pronouns is a she her. We are called they because we are two fucking people. No. Wait, let me search up. Is Search Man, one person. Search man, it's one personality. Now what does he need that the extra head for? Two heads. That keeps switching between his two heads. Why? That's that's so bullshit. What's the purpose, Doctor Wiley? What were you cooking? Can you stop? <laughs> anyway, I do like his design, though. Yeah, Search Man switches himself from head to head, so no, it is counted as one robot master. In my head canon, he's two. No, because it says himself on the Mega Man wiki. <laughs> Alright. Still no point to that, though. Like, Dr. Wily. Is, I, I love arguing with you, but there's no reason for that. I know, bro, like, no reason. Like, bro, yeah. Wiley, stop cooking right now. <laughs> Just stop it. Yep. Alright, uh, so now you want to go into stages of music? No! Oh, no, wait, weapons. Oh. I guess that no was the perfect <laughs> place to... Alright, so Clown Man's weapon. Yeah. Oh, no. one thing, yeah. I like the, uh, special abilities with the weapons. Oh, meow, 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 like, what are you talking about? Not in a mainline Mega Man game, like the, like the two sets of Robot Masters thing. I think it would be better for a spin-off. Yeah. But I, I don't hate it. Wanna know what I'm listening to right now? Who? Huh. I'm just listening to, uh, what is it called? Uh, have you ever heard of the Sequel Wars? The you know the Wild Wars, right? Yeah. Someone made a ROM, like, on your PC, for, um, Mega Man, uh, 
Uh, oh yeah, I heard of that where it does four, five, five and six. And I'm listening to Bright Man's theme for Mega Man Four on the Genesis. It's so good. Oh. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do a Wily Wars two. That's kind of dumb. Yeah. Anyway, uh. Oh yeah, uh, one thing that I forgot to mention. A uh, base is just gone until one boss fight, like, at the end of the game. Yeah. Base just, di he's like, I'll get you, Mega Man, and just goes on his vacation. The hell? Anyway, uh, so yeah, um, a Clown Man's thing. I don't remember any of the main weapons, I just remember the abilities. Uh-huh. Uh, but yeah, Clawman's ability, I like it because it's grappling hook, and grappling hooks are cool. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, yeah, um, then Frostman's weapon. Uh, who's? Frostman, isn't that the frost guy in this game? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, uh, what's his weapon? Frostman is that, like, frost wave thing. You summon it and then it comes from the ground, spike by spike. That's his weapon. Is that his ability or his weapon? Weapon. Huh. It's shit! It's Tangu Man's weakness! And he barely ever is on the ground, damn it! Uh, so yeah, I forgot that weapon, but one that I do remember is Tangu Man's. One what I hate? Ooh. With Mega Man weaknesses, sometimes the Robot Masters, they don't have a choice because they're fan submitted, right? Yeah. So, sometimes they just make a weakness, a weakness of an enemy, or of a boss, because it's hard to hit them with. Hmm. Like Tangu Man. He barely ever goes on the ground. That's also yes, another issue with to, this game. His weakness is a damn ground weapon. That's one of my issues with this game. Some of the weapons that you get from the first Rostal can only be used in the second one, and some of the ones you get in the second one can only be used in the first roster. Yeah. Which I guess it's good to have for the refights, but like, come on. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, uh, now we're on Tango Man's, which is that flying tornado thing. Tornado hold! Tornado hold! Tornado hold! Tornado oh, hold! He's nuts all over your freaking face. <laughs> oh wait, we forgot to talk about the baller! Jesus Christ, kill me. <laughs> so yeah, the baller! Is, uh, pretty alright. I don't like how you have to use it for one boss. Yeah. Like, you're forced to use it for one boss. That now, one was annoying. I'm skilled enough to do this, but I played Mega Man 8 on a PS2. You have a and PS2? I, yes. And I am successfully able to do that infinite jumping glitch with the ball. Uh. With the rock ball. I didn't know that there was one. Yeah, just, you throw a ball in front of you, you, uh, like, while you're at a certain frame in your jumping animation, and then you will hit that ball on the side, and you will cause an explosion that makes you jump. Oh, you yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah, I can, I'm able to pull that off. Okay. Again, I speed run. Have you sped run this game? No. Mm. I've only done the... I've only done the classic six. Okay. I was about to say I've only done the uh, I've only done the classic series, but I have not done all the way up to eleven. I am gonna do eleven at some point. Not yet because I only just got the game not that long ago. And I even I've well, spent on the a game a little too early. Anyway, uh, back on the Mega Man Eight. Uh, so now we're on to Grenade Man's weapon. Um, Grenade Man. Um. Man, I forgot. Very forgetful. Uh, yeah, I forgot, man. I also forgot. 
Man, they didn't even make a new Robot Master. I for Gora, man. And then, so then we go to Aquaman's? Oh, uh, no, we go to Astro Man's, which I like because oh. of the big-ass meteors no, that rains down. I like it because of the big-ass big meteorites. I got nothing to say about it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, now we're on to Aquaman's. Um, so those, like, balloons. Yeah. Water balloons. Use water um, balloons. It's literally balloons made out of water. Legit, bro. Ah, Capcom, you're so fucking... Like, very funny, Capcom. You get an A-plus for doing bullshit. A for effort. A for nothing. Yeah, L.A. Never let Capcom, Capcom cook again. Hashtag, ha hashtag Capcom just use my video as the game. Come on. Hashtag just be here. This is shit. Hashtag use my Mega Man 12 video as the game. Actually, hey, I got something cool. Yeah. So, I am going to make my own little section of what I think Mega Man 12 will look like when I hopefully, I don't think I will, get my TikTok back up. Mm. And guess what? On Soundtrap, I'm going to make a Mega Man game. Like, it's in development right now. Wait, you're making an actual game? Yep. Oh. And so, I actually made the theme for Human Stage. Okay. Now, I changed it up a little bit because I thought Human was going to be an actual boss and not a freaking endgame boss. Yeah. So yeah, I just finished that today. Wait, so you're turning my Mega Man 12 idea into a game? Not really. Oh, mm. uh, I'm changing it up a little bit. Not using your Robot Masters, I'm probably going to make a few new 8 ones. Okay. I am keeping Cuban, so sorry about that. It's fine, you're the copyright owner for him, so... Yeah. I just have to say thanks for you letting me use them. That's fine. I am gonna put copyright on them soon, so don't worry about it. Oh shit, I'm gonna get sued. No, no, I'm not gonna sue you. Yay. You're my friend. I mean, unless you turn on me, I'm suing your ass so hard. Oh shit, you're you ain't got the money for that, bro. What do you mean, oh shit? Does that mean you're going to? Um. You fought it! Um, I- you cannot prove anything. I plead guilty, I mean, I plead non-guilty. Yo, time to move on to the superhero. <laughs> that look you just gave me, bro. That look you just gave me. That was like, a, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you now. Yeah, alright, but you want to move on to Iron Sword? I mean, Sword Man? Melchior! Yeah, sure. <laughs> alright, so yeah, Sword Man, um, you just get a sword. Flame Sword. Pretty self explanatory, you get a flame sword that you're somehow holding with a not melting. That does literally shit damage. And also, you gotta get up close and personal with your homies to use it, so. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. Alright, now on to Camel Man Sniper. Now on to... Oh, now on to Search Man Sniper. Uh, pretty weird. Yes. Yeah. I don't like it. I never used it. Yeah. Genuinely, just screw Search Man's weapon. And also his boss fight. Yeah. The only yeah. thing I like about him is his design, and I now don't even like his personality, because... What actually no, what personality? Help? He's one these guys have no personality. I mean they do because they're This have voice guy It doesn't say search man, it says search man. Oh, <laughs> uh, so that happened. Yeah, um so yeah, let's move on to stages and music now. Should we? Yes. Must we? Yes. We must? Yes. 
No! Yet. Sure. Anyway. Anyway, uh, I don't care about Tengu Man Stage because it reminds me of Cloud Man Stage for some reason. Uh, probably because they're both Man in the stage. Sky. Sucks. Yeah, probably because they're both in the sky. So they believe they yeah. can fly. Anyway, uh, Aquaman Stage, I like it, but the mini boss sucks ass. Yeah. The big ass pancake looking MF. Anyway, then we're on the Camo Man stage, I forget. Camo Man? You mean Surge Man, you dumb look? I look at his character design and it makes me think of a military soldier, not a I think search. that's the whole point of this freaking. Exactly, so I think Camo instead of Search. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I forget that. Uh, Frost Man stage, it's alright, it's pretty alright. Yeah. I get kind of confused with, uh, 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 the refrigerator stage for Mega Man Base, but... You mean Fridge Man? Or I meant Cold Man? Fridge Man? <laughs> He's a freaking friend! Hey, bro, your fridge running? Like, literally, you, got, you gave that shit life. You Frankenstein monster that shit, bro. Shut up! Anyway, oh uh, yeah, uh, Iron Sword stage. You, and I... you, you, you Frankenstein monster that shit! <laughs> I for I I forget Swordman stage, uh Clownman stage. He's just a wacky little guy. Don't leave him alone. The stage, I hate it. <laughs> it yeah. took me so long. It's a bit too goofy. Also, if you didn't know, if you use the baller to shoot the clown face at the beginning of the stage before you actually enter. Yeah, you get a one up. Yeah. So all you idiots who didn't know that can go jump off a bri- Anyway, Grenade Man stage. Yeah. Grenade Man stage. It goes boom Great. boom, and that's all I remember. Alright, now on to Astro Man stage. This stage sucks. It's a maze. Well, yeah. How does this fit his character? He is a floating ball. How does this fit? <laughs> He is a floating ball with a luxurious boots. Floating booty. snowman that turned into galaxy and shit. Legit, bro. Bro got pissed on. That's why he's green. <laughs> Legit, bro. Get this goofy ass snowman out of here, man. That luxurious ass, bro. Get out. We don't move on next. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna kick your ass, bro, into the fucking astroverse. <laughs> oh, I forget music. Oh, wait, we forgot to talk about the uh, uh, duo stage where you go and fight him. And Dr. Wowmy stage. We talk about that later. But duo stage, um. I don't care about it because it's so short, short, but, uh, if you play the Sega Saturn version, you get to fight Kung Fu Gutman. Kung Fu Gutman. Kung Fu Gutman. What the hell are you doing, bro? Anyway. Oh, I forgot. Nobody can see what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> Just covers in his hood. <laughs> nah, bro, something in the air. No, no, no. I'm listening. Anyway. God damn, that goes hard as shit, man. I'm listening to Bright Man Stage on the Sega Genesis. All right, shut up. It's a good All time. right, so. Uh, yeah, but the only good thing about this game is Kung Fu Cut Man. Kung Fu Cut Man! Kung Fu Cut Man! Anyway, yeah, uh... Your impression is way too good. Kung Fu Cut Man! Damn. I will it's cut fine. your nuts off. Come here, boy. No. Anyway, yeah, now we, uh, I forget the music. What do you mean, anyway? I forgore the music. It's not yeah. that good. Besides Wily One, it's horrible. Honestly, it sucks ass. Actually, I I also listened to this song during tests, but the why the bosses the boss music is pretty pretty exciting actually. Actually, no, I do like one of the tracks. I just remembered. What? 
I no, this might be a hot take. Uh, I like grenade mans. Hot take, hot take, hot take. Genuinely, I love. I'll play hot a little. Take, hot take, hot take. I'll play a little sample really quickly. So yeah, I do really uh, like that theme. It's not one of my favorite Mega Man themes, but I do like it. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, uh, is that it for music? Because everything besides Wily 1 kind of sucks. What? Everything besides Grenade Man and Wily 1 kind of sucks. Yeah. So yeah, uh, now we move on to the Wily... Stages. Yeah, Wily Stages. Which I have... Music? I have forgotten, again. Music? It's pretty good. Yeah. And, I wanna say something else. Jump, jump, slide, slide. Can go burn in a ditch, oh my god. Jump, no. jump! Oh, no, 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 can. What? Why? You better, when you're playing this, fucking pay attention! I was! It took me like a day so- You were not! And I caught it on my first try for both of them! No, man! It took it me- did. It, it took me two try- it, No, it took me like- it took me like a day to get that Wily stage one. Jump, jump, slide, slide, I'm gonna rip your you're nuts off! Pussy. Oh my god, the jump! I, I I was tired that day, man, and I said, oh. Here's the thing. Again, me speed one video guy. You didn't me speed one. Better this. than you. Shut your ugly ass, though. Go suck butt or get better. Jesus Christ. What? I just found something. When I brought it here, you say Jesus Christ. What is know. this? Two hundred goddamn dollars. For a Mega Man who has a PP the size of this. Like, bro is the size of a toenail clipping, Little bro. Shit. He is legit the size of a toenail clipping, bro. <laughs> And he's two hundred damn dollars. For real, man. You guys probably can't see us, but if you can, right here. Jesus Christ. Oh, Luke's dead. My oh. God. Why is a book a hundred dollars? The Mega Man Capcom official book. Mega Man. Field gun. Anyway, uh, yeah, what were we talking about? Alright, I'm just gonna move on to Wily Bosses. Um... <laughs> no, we're talking about Wily Stages! Actually, yeah, you can move on to Wily. <laughs> no, nah, bro, it's glug glugging. No! <laughs> no, what bro doing? To the cat? No! Yes, he is, guys. Report this man. I just realized, why does Frostman have a bright red nose? What? He quite literally what looks is... like Rudolph. Bright no, a bright man doesn't have a big bright nose. I said Frostman. I thought you said bright man. I was like, dude, fuck off. Alright, anyway. Yeah, Wily Bosses. Woo! Alright, so we have the one where you have to shoot the baller in the holes. You gotta put your balls in the holes, so. Uh, yeah, uh, second one, I'm not, I, uh, plane. No. No. And then you fight. Is that the only description you're gonna get? Plane! And then you beat the shit out of base. Stupid fish robot master, bro. Like, base, get the fuck out of my office, man. Shut up. 
Bro's a scrapped robot master. Like, who is this goofy eye emo bitch? Shut up. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, and uh, then. I forget the third one, and then you go to Wily, who, in this game, in this game, okay, hear me out, hear me out, he's gay as f Uh oh. Mega Man, I'm glad you could join us, I'm just playing some Among Us with Dr. Light. Stop stealing Power Guy shit. Yeah, you know, that's not cool. I'm sorry, Power Guy. He's gonna be the one who's chewing your ass next. No! My money! My broke ass can't afford to be sued! Yep. Anyway, uh, I, I forget the Wily boss. The, yeah. I forget the final Wily boss. It's very forgettable. So yeah, that's it for this video. Oh wait, oh yeah, I'm, uh, how much did this game sell? Uh, like 80 bucks. It Just didn't sell, it, it didn't make 80 bucks. Mega Man 8. Price. Yeah, 80 bucks. It was 80 bucks, how much did it, how many copies did it sell? Too much of it freaking is hated because everybody freaking knows it. Jesus. Okay. Right now, a grade. Like, if you got this in a 10, it would be only 350 bucks. I like how you say only. Yeah, that's not any money for a 10. Alright, let's see. And then for a brand new copy still in the seal, it's only a hundred and sixty. On eBay, you can find like open copies for like forty dollars. Yeah. I found a complete box copy here for thirty. You can find ones like opened on eBay for like forty, bro. That is way too much. I just found one here for thirty. Yeah. This is the this is the official selling website. Yeah. Anyway, also, this game's box art sucks. Box art? No. No, it doesn't suck, it's just so generic. Compared to what we've had, it's not. It, Mega Man looks good, but it's so generic, you couldn't, have, you couldn't have killed it to put Duo somewhere, the new guy. That's giving too much information. All it is is him going pew pew on the okay, cover. Okay, let's go over the box cards really quick. One sucked, two sucks, three is okay, four is okay, five is fucking amazing. In six your opinion. Awesome. Six is also crazy. I love seven, six. Seven is... Alright. Alright, it's actually pretty good box art. Besides eight. Wiley. Wiley looks like a... And then we have eight. It was eight. just below eight. mid. Nah, I'd say it is mid. Nah. Mega Man looks like Mega Man. And on Should the digital... Buster, where it looks like a buster shot. On the digital box art for 9 looks good. And the digital box art for 10? Hear me out. I like it. I didn't even notice base was at the top of the... I didn't even notice base was even in the box art until I looked. He is? Like, He is? Hang look, on. Look, 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 look. Wait, hey, I just searched it up. Where the hell Shut is up he? Just look. Shut up, look. Look. Mega Man ten. Look. Face's face is right there, is it not? He's not on the cover, face? bro. Yeah, he is. Face is right there. Fighting along with Mega Man and Proto Man. That's edited. No, it's not. Here's the freaking box art. Dude, that is not. No. Dude, I have it on my Wii. I know what the fuck.
box art of this one. Then why can't I find look, any images of the face? Even look at the Mega Man wiki. It, the box art for it has base. Nah, bro. It doesn't have base anywhere I'm looking. It does. It doesn't. And then Mega Man 10. Look, look at the digital box. It has... I don't yeah. know what to tell you. Dude. That's the best part. Oh, because there was two different box arts. Ah. Oh. The early version of it doesn't have base, and then the second one. Honestly, second I think does. base ruins it. It looks ugly as shit. I know. That's why I was about to say no way in hell you can I will that. say, Mega... The box art design for Proto Man... Goes hard as shit. Yeah, he's probably the best looking one in this box he art. He quite no, he's my he's the best thing to be on any Mega Man box art. He looks sick as have, shit. And then we have Meg and then we have Mega Man, which is just Ew. But Mega bro has a freaking arm blade, bro. Yeah. Man went full on Jesus bro to kill a old man. God damn! Well, I mean, if you look here, really quick, look. Oh. Base is right there. That's why I don't think they released it in the first box art. Yeah. And also, why did you, why does Mega Man's face look? Like oh, that? I see the other box art now. You what? I see the other box art. The one with base. Yeah. Eh, I will say, he doesn't look bad here, but everywhere else he looks like shit. Why does he look like he's in his late 60s? No cap, bro. He legit looks like he's about to do a flash. Like, look at him, he's in a Never running position. Say no cap to me again. I forgot. Anyway. That is not me. Anyway, just look at him. Look at his pose. He looks like he's about to run, bro. Genuinely. Yo, I found this, Yo, I found this really cool. Alright, can oh. we stop talking about 10? This is an 8 video. Yeah, just 10 is infinitely better. Yeah, I don't like 10 the most, but... Uh, I will say, this is the best box art in a Mega Man game. Yeah. Honestly, bro. This shit goes hard. Yeah. Like, especially this version where it's extended. Look at this. I know the viewers can't see, but look at this, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is a freaking poster, bro. This looks sick as shit. Yeah. I need, I need to get this and put it on my... I need to get a printer and print this out, bro. Genuinely, this goes hard as shit. Anyway, and Mega Man 11's box art is mid. Yeah. Mega Man 11's? Oh, I found something you're gonna like. Well, what's bro waffling about? Please, give me it. It's just, it's fake. I want a Mega Man versus Capcom. I want, I want Capcom versus Marvel game where they have classic Mega Man instead of X. Marvel versus Capcom Origins. That actually looks cool, though. Dude, I played uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, right? Yeah. I uh, I played the second one or the third one. Is there a third one? Eh? Uh yeah, there's there's four of them. You have Marvel vs. Capcom one, Marvel vs. Capcom two, Marvel vs. Capcom three, and Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I either played the first or second one. Whatever one has Mega Man X and Zero, and I played it, I was like, I can't wait to play as Mega Man. I booted it up. What is this shit? What other characters like, were in it? Give me my Mega Man! What other characters were in it? Every Mega Man character besides Zero and X. Yeah, Zero and X. Yeah, 
Uh, yeah, but, yeah, I've only played Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and Infinite, and honestly, they have more characters in Infinite than 3 for Mega Man. Yeah. yeah. Quite literally, you can play as Sigma. Yeah. There's also a Proto Man costume. Yeah. What? Yeah. Also, I found this, which looks cool. I saw that too. I was like, I was about to point it out, and I was like, I don't think you care about it, but. I'm Honestly, happy here, this this actually looks cool now. The Mega Man Ten one. In that photo, that looks cool. Yeah. He looks like a revamped version of freaking. Well, I mean. Bro, we had Mega Man, we had Mega Man X, and now we have Mega Man ZX. Damn, that goes hard like hard, man. Ah! Anyway, so yeah, um, my new pitch to Capcom is Mega Man ZX. Really? Nah, it would be cool. Man, you must feel depressed. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, oh yeah, also, <laughs> one more quick thing. Anyway, Drake, shut up. I found this, where Dr. Wily isn't humping Crash Man. Holy shit, he's telling them to kill him. Dude, my only question is why the hell is the original box art like it? What oh, it is? Oh no. Oh, the first two box ass. arts looks like ass. Anyway, we are way off topic. Give me a sec. Holy shit, we gotta end this. Anyway, uh, so yeah. That was, that <laughs> That will be it for today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. No, we need to spin the wheel, buddy. Oh, I almost forgot. Like we did for the last three times. I'll do it this time. No, I'm spinning. I'm the one who has the wheel. I I have it pulled up already. I you don't have the wheel. I'm the one who made it. On my Chromebook. Too bad. Too late. I already spent it. I already spun it as well. It's Mega Man Four. Just kidding. I did not spin one. Yup. Exactly. Oh. But yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, Queen. Oh, slay. Uh, slay. Anyway, we're gay as shit right now, bro. That was gay as shit. Fun? Anyway. What? So yeah, um. Yeah, we're doing Mega yep. Man 4 next. Bye. Bye.